Hi there, Kathy Chow Isaacs back with you to uh, work on the Python lessons available in Minecraft Education Edition. So uh, we are working on lesson six, which is uh, Booleans and conditionals. And right now we are on activity three. So um, we have been coding in lesson six, we've been coding the agent to um, the first activity we taught it like how to uh, respond to lights, red light, green light, yellow light. In the second activity, we taught it how to make a turn uh, depending on what it saw in front of it. So now we are on activity three, which looks like we're going to have to get it through a maze. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to the AI developer. I am trying to make the agent navigate through these obstacles, but it always gets stuck in a corner to the right and can't get out can you write some code that will get the agent through this randomly generated course? Of course, we'll help you with that. All right, so let's go ahead and kind of take a look at this course that the agent has to get through. Okay, so the agent is going to go forward. And then when it sees something in front, it's going to need to know to go left or right. Okay, so it'll go forward. And then here, it seems like there could be an obstacle to the right and the left. It'll need to go in one direction or the other, depending on what's in front of it. And it's got to check that something is next to it or in front of it. Okay. So let's tap C to launch Code Builder and see what we get. What is our task? The tutorial is saying write some code to make the agent detect and avoid randomly placed blocks as it moves the course. To do this, use an if else conditional, which we used in the last activity, with an elif conditional in between. So we've done that as well. So elif is short for else if in Python, and elif kind of lets you add an additional comparison inside your um, if, if the if else statement. So for the if condition, use two agent detect commands with an and not operator in between. And for the elif condition, use two agent detect commands with an and operator in between. An example of two conditions with an and and not operator. Here we go. So we see a little bit about the syntax which is gonna be key here. So um, let's go ahead and do the first task. So um, remember anything that starts with a hashtag is commented out in Python. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say for the first task, um, uh, add a for loop and set it to 23. So we'll go to loops, I'm gonna grab four. Let's put this at the end here and see what happens, Oy. okay. And oh, cool, so it makes the line return and, and puts it in here, puts the code in, snip it. So you need to change the default four to 23. Remember that pass is um, just gonna pass this code inside, okay, the code that follows. So we need an if else conditional with two agent detect commands separated by an and not, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead, oh, I don't have to do that. I can say logic if else, put that at the end. So if true, Okay, um, and then just remember too that um, for something to know that it's in the loop, to for the code in Python to know that it's part of the loop, it needs to be indented, and that's probably what the squiggly line is, expected indented block near F. So I'm gonna highlight all this code and just hit tab and that will indent it all. There we go. So if true, okay, so if agent detect, and we'll um, let that auto um, fill happen. Um, if agent detects that a block is forward, okay, and not agent detect, we'll just put this code in here, I'm just highlighting and copying and pasting. So right now it's not right because it's saying look forward and look and not look forward, which is like a double negative, but the um, code, the next line of code is it wants the agent to move left. Okay, so I'm going to take this else and I'm going to throw the else um, down here after line 11. Okay, so that's the else part. So if the agent detects a block forward 
and not, oh, well, see, it wants the agent to move left next. So I'll change that to left. Okay, then go ahead and move left. We'll say that that should be the code. Okay, and let's just get rid of these extra lines. Let's look for, whoops, silly. Okay, so we're looking for, why is this squiggly? Unexpected indent, unexpected token. So let's make that part of the code. Okay, that looks good. All right, so now we need an elif. Okay, so we've met the first con first part of the task, which is using and not. Um, and then we'll say elif, and we'll do this again. Agent, we'll just copy and paste this. Make sure to include the colon. Okay, and so if the agent detects a block forward and a block left, we want it to move right, I think move right to. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and indent this so it matches above. Okay, and then here's the else. Else, move forward. Okay, and I'm indenting to try, I mean, I'm deleting to try to move this code up. All right, so now what's happening here? This is, oh, I don't need the second and, right? Just need one and. It's not and not. All right, well, this looks like nothing is squiggly. So what we're saying here is that if the agent detects a block forward and detects a block left, oh, and detects a block left, move left. Oh, and not left, forward but not left, move left. Um, if the agent detects a block forward and left, then move right to. Okay, so forward if left not left forward something forward but nothing here move left if something forward and here move right to otherwise just keep moving forward all right so let's hit play and check our work <gasps> Ooh. oh go agent go <gasps> yes yay we did it Oh, that was really awesome. Oh, and I forgot, of course. Um, so yeah, we did it. Oh, forgot two things. <laughs> Remember that if you want to take a screenshot with congratulations, do it right away before you celebrate. And then you also, if you want to hang on to the code, uh, make sure you go into code before you hit play, um, copy and paste that code and um, into a different program so that you have it somewhere. Because um, once you try to go back to Code Builder, it's not going to be there. You have to start the world over again. But how awesome. We finished the lesson. So next time we see each other, we'll be on lesson seven. Yay. All right. Awesome. We'll see you on the next video.